Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's continue our adventure through this incredibly dangerous tower. Well, it's actually not all that dangerous, but there will be more dangerous towers later. Hey, who are you? You! What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. Go away! Shoo! And I'm not even liked by a person I never even met. You look funny with those glasses. You're not going to follow my plans of overtaking the world. What? So there's a real deal villain in here, huh? And his name is Glasses. I'm overtaking the world by sucking the planet's energy out with this machine, you see. <laughs> Pretty genius, huh? Can I put your glasses on? <laughs> oh, so you're intent on stopping me, huh? Well, you can't because I, I don't... It doesn't sound like Kitty's has intent on stopping him, in all honesty. I have bottle rockets! <laughs> and it's boss battle time! So he plops bombs out, just gotta wait for... gotta look out for the bombs, but you gotta wait for him to flop along charging you on the bottom route. You'll see why when he does it. Just gotta wait for it. This can take. Oopsie. I was standing in the totally wrong place. Uh, there we go. That's how it's done. And just jump on him. Ouch! I hate you! <laughs> and that's pretty much all there is to this boss aside from, uh, you know, you gotta. It's, it's a survival thing for the most part because it's rather easy to react to jumping on him as he's flying down from. I mean, flying across the bottom. And no bombs that time, huh? I guess he's just charging up his bombs for this bomb flurry. Yeah. Just gotta be careful of the explosions, dodge them in order. Boop! Alright, I think, I think, I think it's one more hit, if I recall. Three hits for the victory. Maybe. Could be. Might be. I guess we'll see. I think, yeah, I think it was three hits. I'm just trying to remember how many it was. I guess it doesn't really matter because it's still... Uh, it's still a matter of endurance. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter how many hits it takes, just as long as I beat him after all. And boop! I hate you! But you can't stop me. Oh, you still have the tower east of here. <laughs> you stupid kitty. I'm not stupid. I'm just a bit slow in the head. <laughs> oh, I love you, kitty. There's another tower? I gotta see it! So, that's how kitty goes off to see the second tower. <laughs> Wait, let's, let's see here. Is there anything important? Oh, there's a cash bag over there that... Oh, maybe I... Yeah, I can get that, can't I? Hold on... Yeah! There we go. Made it quite easily. And I am out of here. Yeah, it poops you right back out at the entrance here. And the barrier is gone. I'm going to save my game. And I still don't have the required move to get that treasure bag or that treasure bag. So I'm off to Windy Whiskers. <laughs> it is, just as it says, it's a windy level. Well, not yet, but you'll see. Fall. And you're dead! Yeah, it's a uh, one-hit kill over here. Quite windy up here, eh? Yes, it is. And look at that one-hit kill. Yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> if It just takes you back to the title screen where you can reload your game. No big deal. That's what I mean about that deaths aren't really all that big of a deal in this game. Anyway, let's play this for real. See the wind? Yep. It is pushing you against your will. This would be much easier. Oh, jeez! That wasn't purposeful. <laughs> The wind stopped and I kind of lost my balance. Well, not balance, my uh, my momentum, uh, the momentum that I was expecting to have, so to speak. Oh, jeez, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Why did I jump there? I don't know, now I'm just being stupid. Alright. Focus, PK Gam. You've lost all composure. Fight the wind. Fight the power. There we go. And there's some pocket change down there, but it's not really worth it in my opinion. Uh, oh, hey. <laughs> okay, you gotta get a good running start for this one. Yeah, 
and this one too! You got a little updraft for this one, and this one too. Just keep running, keep running and jumping. There we go. And wait a second, this leads, this is a shortcut door, right? Yeah, this, this just unlocks the door back to the entrance. But that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is because... Hey! Hello! I am the ancient kitty spirits! Yeah, it's a different magical genie. It's kind of, uh... Um, they, they all seem to share the same names, but they don't really give their name out. <laughs> wow! I have come to wake the savage beast that rests inside you. But, for some reason, I only can do this for 30 shillings. <laughs> Even he can't explain it. Yay! Let me know when you have enough. I'm pretty sure I have enough. So, good. I will now bestow the power of the savage beast to you. Shazam! You now can climb walls by pressing left slash right when near one. Thank you, ancient kitty spirits! And it'll give you a little tutorial on the, the bottom of the screen. This is actually something that's tricky to get used to. But first, do you have anything else to say? You're so cool, ancient kitty spirit! Thank you! That's all? Okay. Okay, now, when you're at a wall, like, you're, you're, you can hold right against the wall, but you're not actually gonna get anything out of it. Like, I'm holding right here. You've actually gotta tap right when you're in the air. I should say tap in the direction of the wall that you want to grab onto, and then you can press right and up in this case to climb and go up and down. You can also wall kick off the side of it. Well, wall jump off it. Alright, this should definitely help Kitty lose some weight now. Uh, oh shoot, do I want to... Oh. I think I should save my game first. Saving a, saving your game sounds like a pretty good idea in this level. <laughs> Don't worry, that door will still be open. I'm just gonna save for safety's sake. See if I go back in here, it's still gonna be open. It just warps me right back over to the genie. It's it's a thing of that they give you that as a way to. Um, it's like miniature checkpoints for levels. Drop down carefully. You, I don't think you can get any of the treasure bags in this level. Oh jeez, blind jumps. That was a bad idea. I should have looked ahead. I mean, I was jumping blindly. I don't think you can get either of the treasure bags in this level without a new, a new move later. So I'm just gonna, just going to end up moving on from here. And yeah. Uh, oh, oh, that, that was seriously it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought there was a little more than that. But I got rid of the barrier, and now I can move over to this more convenient save point. Over here, tower number two. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, getting endgame-ish. Yeah, this is actually the endgame area. As I said, this game is really short. Hey! Hello! I'm a robot! Beep. Maybe I should have said that in more monotone. Wow, cool! I sell tickets for a measly... 350 shillings, you can take a sightseeing tour. Yay! Let me know when you have enough cash, you cute kitty, you beep. Now, it seems like the robot likes kitty. It's I guess it has to be things that aren't actually living in order for them to, you know, like kitty for some reason. But anyway, there's an invisible wall here until you get enough shillings. But even if you do, you still won't be able to go through this tower until you have all the game's moves. So, let's go... Um, uh, here. Al Alibaba Heights. Alright. More beautiful music from the top. Don't fall in there, that's gonna kill you. <laughs> um, I can get a treasure bag that way, but I don't think that's really safe. I Ow! How dare you! I don't think that's a really safe idea because I don't have a really good move. Oh, jeez. I was not paying much attention there. <laughs> because I don't have a move that would make it easier to get that. Same with the treasure bag that's over and down in, in that path, the right path there. And... Oh, I died to Ninja Boy! No! I told you I was going to die a lot in this game in later areas, and this is... It actually is getting kind of to the end game here, believe it or not, already. Because this is, as I said, a really short game. Especially if you know what you're doing. But I have I have a feeling that the um that the 
the sheer difficulty of this game will make the parts longer than they would be if I was really, really good at this game, basically. Hey, Ninja Boy. Ninja Boy. You. You. Yeah, that, that, that works. <laughs> oh, a bomb went up there. Oh, on these uh, bomb canisters, if you're standing on top of them, they won't shoot a bomb out. But if you're even off to the side of them like that, they will shoot a bomb out. So keep that in mind. Oh, shoot. Just be patient. Wait for the boomy bombs. Boop. There's a way through here, so that's indicating that there's another pathway. Um, there's a treasure bag above here, but again, I can't get it without a move, so let's just move on. Be careful here. you got to time yourself with uh, imitation Gordo flavoring. I knew that was good. Oh, don't go, don't go. See this? See this open hole here? Press up. That's actually a door. Yeah, that one puzzled me for quite a while. <laughs> so that's how you get that treasure bag over there. And over here is the thing that I've come for. This is... The hover move. And see that charge gauge that we've seen from the very first part? Uh, that is what this move is all about. Uh, this is... It's actually rather tricky in that you have to hold the action button while in midair along with the up key. And you'll float like that. And, and then when you glow, you will dash out in the direction that you were facing. See how the charge meter is going back up now? Uh, you have to wait until it charges back up in, for, or in order for you to use it again, so it's, it's not something that you can always abuse, per se. Um, as long as I'm going back, I'm going to save, but I'm going to... Oh, I can't show you the glitch until I get a new move. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll show you that on my way back through this level. Uh, save, and next level. Did you bring a towel? No, I didn't. I, I am completely nude. There's cannons ahead, be careful. Well, I guess I'm fuzzy, but that's it's still not a piece of clothing. And here we are on the wall. Oh, jeez. Being demolished by fish and just... Ah, oops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I was holding the Y button to run and I pressed up. And yeah, you gotta be careful with that when you get new moves. You gotta get used to uh, the, the new controls that are adhered to your character, so to speak. Uh, I wish I had more health. But I flubbed it up. Throw that, please. Somewhere safe. Thank you. Uh, oh, geez. Health. Thank you. It only recovers one, though. But I'm here for something else, not just health. Oh, shoot. Why did I do that? That was stupid. Well, stupid of me, not stupid of the game. <laughs> uh, I could go through there. I don't think I can actually get. Oops. I don't think I can actually get anything through here, though. It. Uh, maybe I can. Maybe, oh, I can. It's a little bit risky, though. Because I've only got one health. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> well, this is actually relatively safe. Just gotta wait for the block to go back around, and when all the planets align, I will be able to jump up to the bag. Although it would suck to die, because if I do, I will lose my progress. Luckily, I saved up to that, but I mean I would lose the bag over there that I just got. Beware of fish. Oh geez, they home in on you. Fishy, down here. Actually, I, I just need to be above you. There we go. <laughs> it's, re it's relatively safe if you're above the fish, but if you are ahead of them or below them, it's, it's danger zone. Ah, health. Thank you for the health. And kill the fish. I'll collect the pocket change over here in this dead end, I suppose. Why not? Uh, you, you probably noticed that there was a block down here. The reason why I took this bottom route first is because there's a little switch there, and this opens a door. Boop! Did anything happen at all? <laughs> yes, yeah, something did happen, but we can't see it on screen. That's it's just the thing that they were they're hinting at. It's actually, um, oh, you can't see the door from here, can you? Uh, you gotta go on the upper path now to get to that door. I'm still... Uh, I, th I think I can, I can get that treasure bag over there, I think. I'm just gonna... Oh, jeez. Mm, yeah! Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> because there's a, there's a move over there that I would like to have as well, and I think I need to do it this way, if I recall. I'm making these tricky jumps. Yes, there we go. This is... The Paraglider, and this is 
actually the last move in the game, come to think of it. So I got all the game's moves, and now I can collect all the treasure bags. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, anything up here? This is a shortcut to the end, actually, if you want to uh, do that. Uh, you know what? Actually, maybe that's what I should do. I should leave the level and just save my game just for the sake of safety. By the way, in case you didn't realize, when you save your game at save points, your health is automatically recovered to its fullest. So you can also use them to just recover in general. But anyway, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.